Hey, Jonesy Babes, and welcome back to my channel. So today, we're going to briefly talk about Nesto and these bags of tricks he got going on, what he had going on. Oh my God, this guy had a duffel bag full of toys. He was prepared for whatever he had going on. He had liquid V, pills, a mask, and toys in his bag full of tricks. Mm, mm, mm. So, not only is his name is Grand Theft Nesto, but he's also AKA Toys R Nesto. <laughs> because I want to know what was he doing with these bags of tricks? What was Nesto doing with these bags of tricks? And I went back to Sonya's live stream and listened to the part where. Somebody asked her, what's her DNA on the toys? <laughs> I said, what? Toys? And then she was talking about what was on the warrants. And she was describing what was in the duffel bag. So this man is walking around with a duffel bag full of tricks, toys, and all types of stuff. Who was he using these things on? That's what I want to know. Who are he using these things on? And I hope he was cleaning them. But a mask? Oh boy was wearing a mask? Yes, master. That's what he was telling the girls to say to him. Yes, master. I'll do anything you say, master. <laughs> oh my God. Seriously? Toys are Nesto. Mm, mm, mm. This man is, is, he's a character. He is a character. He got too many sides to him. You might as well just call him Dr. Ha uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Because he has so many different personalities and characters. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's crazy. It's really insane. Mm. And, and, at some point, I think Sonia, once she finished with this court thing, I do believe she's going to bounce. Because if he gets sentenced, let's say he gets sentenced 20 years, that man's going to be, what, 80 years old when he gets out? Straight to the nursing home he's going to go. His kidneys are already going bad. She did say that the medicine, the medicine he's taking is messing with his kidneys. He's not going to be good to anybody. And she said he's not computer savvy. He's not going to know how to do nothing on a computer. I think he, I think Nesto knows enough about a computer just for, to, to do what he wants to do. You get what I'm saying? He could do what he wants to do on a computer, but not to extend to somebody else. He does just enough. And as for those images, those pictures, if they find out those images was downloaded before that computer was in his possession, then he may have a chance. But if those images that he had on those on that computer was downloaded while that computer was in his possession, he gonna get charged with that stuff. So I don't know. We just have to wait and see how this, this all plays out. We have to wait and see how all this plays out. But yeah, getting back to the toys. <laughs> so what was he doing? He was a mobile service, you know, to the women at, at their house. Come as you are. Mm. Wow. Anyway, who you learn something new every day. I tell you, you learn something new. But yeah, I just want to like drop in and just discuss that for a second. Who are these? I need to let me say this. I need to do a deep dive on Mr. Nesto because this man is full of surprises, full of surprises, and full of S H I T. But whatever. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, insane, insane. You know, in New York City, there's a store called the Pink Pussy Cat. <laughs> 
in the pink pussy cat, you can buy. It's in the village, right? East in the West Village, and you can buy like all types of stuff, toys and lingerie and dominatrix stuff and bondage stuff. You can buy all that stuff at the Pink Pussy Cat. I'm not sure how many of you guys know about the Pink Pussy Cat, but honey, that's one store Nesto could have worked in since we know about the bag of tricks. Or he could have had his own little naughty store called um Naughty Nestos or Toys Are Nestos. He could have called it that. He could have ran that kind of store. He would have made some money. Could have had a back room back there for the red light specials and stuff. Red light, green light, one, two, three. <laughs> Let me stop clowning on this man. I just like to talk about him and have fun. But yeah, he could have, Nesto could have had one of those type of stores. He could have. You know, he could have had the barbershop in the daytime. And he could have had the naughty store in the nighttime. Shit, he could have found a way to merge those two together. Okay. So you can go to the barber shop and get your get your hair cut. And you can go next door to get your pleasure. You know, your little toys and in the back room. I don't know what will go down back there, but something will go down back there, you know. Get your other hair done. <laughs> Stop. All right, you guys, I'm out. <laughs> Let me not give this man any ideas, <laughs> even though he can't do it about it. But still, he might get one of his one of his sons to run that type of establishment. And then I'm going to have to ask for my pay cut. Can I get a percentage of my idea? But anyway, you guys. So, yeah, I just <laughs> toys are Nestos. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. What y'all think about that? It's a cool name, right? <laughs> I will talk to y'all later. But for real though, what was he doing with those bags of toys? That's what I want to know. Shit, maybe I'll write him myself and ask him, Nesto, what you was doing with those bags of toys? He probably gonna tell me nothing anyway. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.